Alright guys, so we're gonna end up wiring these buttons to this controller here. I know some wiring um, th or some some controls that you buy uh, could be a little more complex than this. This makes it really simple. I bought it on Amazon. I'll, I'll show you the link. But basically, this is set up so that all I have to do is put slide these terminals on all these pins and then uh, place it into this control board which has a USB port or USB in here which they give you wire to go USB in your computer. So ultimately this will go in to one of these as well as the power and then I have one of these for each one of the buttons and as long as you're organized uh, you should be okay. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and mount the TV to the wall for the arcade here. Uh, I have a bracket, I have my TV, I have some supplies. I am piecemealing uh, this kit together. I'm, I stole the wall mount from our bedroom. We replaced uh, with a swivel mount. So I have um, a few bolts, it's not all together, but we're gonna mount the whole bracket to that mount this TV. The TV is a little bit smaller than I'd want it, but uh, thanks to my uncle, it was free. So we're going to use it for now. And uh, we're going to mount that to the wall and then we'll bring everything down and start putting everything together. Alright guys, so uh, I ended up measuring out. I, I, I had it a little bit easy. I had these two here. Typically there's studs right next to the, on either side of these outlets. So there's one here, you tap on it, it's hollow over here, something there, and then there's one on this side of this box. So, and they should be about 16 inches apart, which they were. So I ended up measuring from the end here to there, and from the corner to there. Ended up with some lines here. So there's a spot there, there's a spot there. And this line, I basically put, <clears throat> This bracket, upside down, this bracket up to the wall. I kind of got an idea how high I wanted it to be. And then what's gonna end up happening, I don't know if you can see that, but you'll see a level line right up there. And we just wanna make sure that it goes level and I'll make sure when I do it, but level all the way across these holes. That way we know the bracket's level. And then we'll drill. I'll drill the holes before that. And then uh, we'll drill the holes and then screw the screws in. I only have three bolts, but for this little TV and even the size that I want, it's gonna be fine. So uh, we'll go ahead and put this mount up and then we'll mount the TV. guys so this step complete uh, I will run the wire down or, or run a plug up to the back of TV at some point I'm not gonna do it right now as my little one plugs with the place of the plug make this real quick I'm not gonna do that now uh, once everything's done I might go back and do it it's not be easy enough to do but for now we're gonna hang that there <clears throat> Might have to do that sooner than I thought. So let's uh, let's work on the getting the arcade down here, and then we'll we'll start playing. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put finish up this T molding. I finally lugged this thing down here. Um, we're gonna finish up this T molding on here and here. So we finish it off, and then we're going to mount the top and the lid for here. 
There we go. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and pop, pop these two hinges on. I got one over here, one over here, and then we can screw it onto the base. All right, guys, got this mounted up. Uh, you can see, as you saw, lift up a little bit here, so good to go. I still don't, uh, and I keep saying it, but I still don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. I do have some extra T molding, and I could run the router down here. I'm afraid I'd scratch this, but regardless, I plugged in the two controllers. Uh, I do still have to mount this to the base, which I will do in a second, but. Right now, the computer isn't really working as I wanted it to yet, but we should get some kind of action. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. We got some lights. Close up. Right. Um, I did throw up a video about setting up the computer, and since then it's messed up. So. I'm gonna to have to work on that. Unfortunately, I thought we were gonna to get to playing soon, but we'll see what I can do. I'll get ahead, go ahead and mount this. I still have to put the door back here, but let's see what we can do with the computer. Back another day here, Average Mike, an arcade build, hopefully finish this thing up. What we're gonna do is put this lid on the back here with the hinges, drill, drill a hole for all the wires to come in and out the back, drill a hole for the front, to mount this sucker in for the USB ports and that's about it. Finish all that up and we should be good to go. And the drill die. Awesome. Let's go turn. All right, we're back in business here. Let's go. This is a good test fit for our USB because it's about the same size. Looks like it fits perfect. So now I'm going to take this and just try to position it in the middle of the hole, middle of this board here. Uh, we're at 24, so 12. This is gonna be so I can, more ventilation. That's why I made this hole a little bigger for, you know, let the heat come out. If I have to later, I can add a fan in the door in here. But uh, this hole is more so for be able to uh, open it. Yeah, so I can open it here, but I wanna be able to, I wanna be able to, uh, you know, have something to grab onto. Before I put this back here, I want to show you uh, basically what I have in here. So this is just a machine, dust on it. Uh, just a machine, Pentium uh, dual core processor. Nothing, uh, I would say it's probably around uh, 2012, 2013 if I had to guess. Machine is nothing powerful, nothing crazy. Uh, and I think it does have about 8 gig of RAM in it. You can certainly go less, especially if you're only doing arcade games. 
but it's nice, small, it's quiet. Uh, I do have a wireless car built in here, or, or USB, a USB uh, wireless adapter to connect to the wireless. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our power back in. Uh, for the video, going up to the TV, I did purchase, as soon as I find it here, there it is. I did purchase a VGA to HDMI, which also has a thing here for a USB, and it also has a um, sound wire to plug into my sound card here. That way I get video and sound up to the TV. Uh, I will run those wires behind the wall. Probably not in this video though. I'm gonna try to wrap this project up for you guys. I am also, I have not done anything back here yet with this vinyl wrap. Because I think ultimately what I'm going to do is unbolt the top from the hinges and go ahead and uh, do what I did for the front. I have some extra mold, red molding. I gotta uh, use the router again to to go across the back here, and then I'm gonna, you know, trim this a little bit and then and put the red uh, molding on the back as well. I think that is, that's the best. Although it's more time consuming, a little harder to do, but that's the best uh, the best option. So. Uh, again, I'm not going to show. I showed you how to do the front, all, all in the front, how to do that. And I'm just going to uh, one day take that off and, and do the back. So that is it for the front or for the back. I'm going to hook this all back up and then we'll add the USB ports in the front. And then that'll be it. So now we're going to mark right underneath this here. We're going to mark center mark here for the hole saw. And then we can put the USB ports in the front here. So. As you see, I drilled here, but I forgot that <coughs> there's a two by four at the tops of the cabinets that I drilled into. So I'm gonna have to fill that in with putty. I'm not perfect. Certainly not perfect. That was a mistake. So not too bad. And uh, at least it wasn't a big hole. <laughs> so, all right, we'll clean this up. Let's, let's put... Hey right, guys, so here it is, the finished product, for the most part. We got all of our buttons lit up, got our key going here. I have different, I haven't loaded all my ROMs yet, but we can definitely use the ones we have here. This is just the default theme for Big Box. And that is pretty much it. All kind of cool games that I completely forgot we even had here. That's the hardest part about doing this is trying to decide. There's so many games that you're trying to decide which one you want to play. You're not a lot. So. Let's see something here. Sesame Street. Simpsons. Skate or Die. I remember that game. What's this one? I 
Let's try that out. Loading. Still some fine tuning to do here with the uh, controls. As I told you before, there's different, you can set up the controls for different emulators and yeah. Uh, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this. I'm also playing with one hand here, so give me a break. Oh, anyways, so yeah, we're good to go. Uh, that'll be a wrap for the arcade build altogether. Uh, a couple of things I have left to do isn't really something that something that you need to see, and uh, we're we're good to go. So that'll be a wrap for uh, the arcade build. It's the fourth and final video. Uh, hopefully you guys liked uh, everything I had to show you. Hopefully it's something that you and, and your son or daughter can go ahead and maybe try on your own. Listen, I'm, I'm not a carpenter. This thing's not perfect, but it works. And my kids have already had a lot of fun on it. So, uh, including myself I can't can't deny that it is cool to go back and play games that you haven't played in a long time so uh, anyway uh, if you like the build you like this video please subscribe like share uh, we're almost at the 100 100 subscriber mark we're gonna be eligible for a free uh, average Mike t-shirt eligible to, to go in a contest to have that to possibly win that t-shirt so uh, Otherwise, uh, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye.